Hi everyone, what's up? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far. Today's video is going to be a small video, so if you guys would like to join me, I would truly appreciate it. So, let's go ahead and start. So, we went to a 99 cent store after church, and the first thing that I would like to show you guys is this nail polish remover spa and gel. And it says here that it's like a new product. I'm not so certain because it's been a while since I went inside the 99 cent store. We always go to Dollar Tree. But uh, I feel like 99 cent store is way better in my opinion. I feel like there's more choices. Especially when it comes to the cosmetic choices. So it says here it's for gel and nail polish. But I only use like the regular. I can't really tell. Maybe in the future I can. But uh, let's go ahead and try it out. So it doesn't have like any seal on it, so wish me luck. Doesn't evaporate quickly. Cause these ones are like done. See that? It doesn't look clean. Even though like you're a person who's really clean, people are not gonna, you know. It's, it always have like a different impression if your nails are like nail polish or started to chip. Ooh, that was fast. You guys see that? That was fast, right? Okay, let's do this one. That was pretty fast. Okay, so I'm just going to finish the rest of it and then we're going to move on to the next item. Guys, this is amazing. I only use one cotton ball. For all of my fingers. This is insane. I'm so impressed. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like by this. Okay? Buy it. It's so freaking good. I actually saw just a couple of these left. And they're, they are at the very back. But uh, if you can find this at 99 cent store, definitely. Go ahead and grab it. And you can screenshot this and then take it to you. I um, mean, show it to the person, whoever is in charge there. But um, this is amazing. This is definitely something that I would buy <laughs> from now on. And it smells good too. It smells like perfume. It smells like a baby prostitute. I'm <laughs> just kidding. It smells good. And then the next item that I would like to show to you that I purchased is this six piece is it uh, seven piece <laughs> nail polish set now this is two dollars and ninety nine I saw this at Burlington and this actually cost around six or seven dollars or eight dollars something like that and it's the exact same thing so I said you know what I love the colors in these why not just try them out and it's just two dollars and ninety nine I'm not saying like it's overly cheap you know but like I kind of want to try it I'm absolutely I mean I'm thinking in the back of my head these are probably like one of those like when you wash the dishes it's going to start to chip so I want to try one out the colors are so beautiful take a look so you have a blue here everything is matte I like that it's like a very solid color and perfect for summer but then again even though it's not summer when you look at this this is me I like color and then you have like a neon green here, a very bright yellow, orange. Oh, I, I also bought this. It's a rock star drink. So this is going to amp me up because I'm planning to make a lot of videos for you guys. I, I really don't like it when I'm slacking when it comes to my videos. What is that? Because I feel like this is my job. I know it's not like a real job, you know what I mean? But I, I love entertaining people and I love talking to people because this is my best stress and depression reliever. So let's go ahead and paint our nails. Now this is such a hard decision for me to make. I don't even know what to pick right now. And it's just, what am I gonna pick? But just by looking at it, I feel like it's not really that pigmented, but whatever. I mean, it's, what do you, what do I expect, you know? I don't expect orally from this, absolutely not. And, but like, let's try this one. I think it's really pretty. So this is probably going to be sheer, but like. Oh, that's not bad. 
It's actually not bad. The brush is a little flimsy, but that's okay. I feel like it has like so much acetone into it. I don't even know if this has acetone, but that's what I feel like, you know, when you use acetone and then it's like super cold. That's what I feel. If this is crappy or if it's good, then I'll let you know for sure. I'll give you guys an update. So if you guys watch me every single day, then you will know. I'll give you the full details into it. Ooh, it's crumpling. You guys see that? Maybe it's not enough. I'm going to go over the second coating. I kind of wanted to, you know, let this dry a little bit. And I just realized that it actually <laughs> looks like my drink right now. So, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so let's go ahead and wait for this one to dry. Oh my god, guys. The smell of the nail polish is so strong that John Ray called me from the other room because he doesn't want to, like, interrupt if I'm filming or not. So he called me on my phone and he said, like, are you using or are you painting your nails? And I said, yeah, why? What's wrong? I can smell it from here. And I'm like, what? Isn't that strange? But anyway, now... This nail polish is really horrendous. I, if it wasn't for the um, this base or top coat, it's not really going to look all together. So one coat, it's very sheer. The second coat, when you try to add another coat, it crumples up, it builds up into like a gooey, unexplainable texture, but um, just to give you guys an idea, this is what my nails look like. But I did try my best to make them even and nice. Now, for the longevity of this one, you just really have to stay tuned to my <laughs> videos because it's still drying right now, but um, the smell is intense, that genre. I mean, as you guys can see, my door is even closed. So I was like, what type of nose does John Ray have? Like a normal human being nose, but like, he's not really that sensitive when it comes to smell. But the fact that he, you know, tries to call me out and stuff, that's, I can say that's intense. Feel drugged now. <laughs> now, I don't know how am I gonna do this because my nails are not dry at all, but it's kind of like half dry. I don't know if that exists, but um, it's almost there. But I feel like this is the type of nail polish that you, when you wake up, there's going to be like the imprint of the bed sheet or something. That's what I feel like this type of nail polish is, but let's not go ahead and judge it right away. So the last item that I got at the 99 cent store are these eggs. So they do, I mean, it's Easter. They do have like a lot of eggs available. But when I saw this, the first one that I saw is actually the version of this one, which is a smaller one. But I picked the larger one with four pieces inside because, I mean, you already know what I'm going to do with this one. I'm not going to put, like, anything inside other than a beauty sponge. So I'm going to open it up. These are so cute. I can't. Aren't they pretty? They have, like, a lot of designs. But this is, like, this is me right here. So beautiful, easy to open, put it back. But these are like so fragile, so you just have to be like really careful with it because one mistake can like crack it and then you are done and you just have to wait for next year again <laughs> to get you some of these eggs. And that is not going to be 100% yet because every year they do release like different types of eggs. So I have the purple. And I wish they have the pink one only because I love pink, obviously. Ah, so cute. And then you have the green one. And then this more of like blue-green. Sorry about that. Did I hurt your ears? Okay. So I have four shapes of sponges right here with me. This is the original Beauty Blender, which... I know they have like a lot of issues and I don't know why they did that. I feel like 
this is what I feel. I feel like their business is kind of like going down because people felt like it's more convenient if you buy something, not even like half the price. This is $20 and this one, the Real Techniques one is $6 and you can actually get them at Ross and Burlington too for like the packs. So I'm going to put that here. You're probably going to say like just that's so big for the blender, but like they do expand those. So after I use them, what I what I'm going to do is that I'm going to store them here so that they don't contaminate the rest of my makeup. And then the best part is that this one, let me just Don't judge me. This is for personal use anyway. All right. So the best part of this one is that when my sponge expands, it's going to fit perfectly and that it has holes in it. So my sponge can definitely breathe and dry with ease. And of course, I'm going to clean them right away as soon as I get home. Ah, super cute. Let's get the Real Techniques one. Wish I bought more, but like... I feel like I'm not that type of person anymore who's like super impulsive when it comes to like buying things. That is perfect. That's perfect right there. And I'm absolutely sure if this expands, it's just going to fit right. And then I have another sponge right here from Real Techniques. Put it there. Just to give you guys like an idea on what they look like, what the sponges will look like inside these cute little eggs. So if you guys still want to buy them, you still have time. That's the reason why I wanted to show this to you guys because it's just so cute. This I have like the diamond one. This is from Real Techniques as well. I think this is from... What brush set is that? Because I always... I forgot what brush set. But I'm absolutely 100% sure that this was from Real Techniques. I just forgot how I bought this. Bought like a lot of stuff so now I can't even remember. Okay, so this is what they look like. They look absolutely cute and it's perfect for traveling. Yay! Okay, so the last item from my haul is actually from Walmart and I decided to give this one a try. I'm going to depot things again because it's nice. It's like stress relieving and it's a good way for me to use all of my makeup as well. Now this is, I'm sorry if I keep on looking down there. I'm really sorry. Okay. This is, I believe 97, I mean, it's going to be a dollar when you pay. So these are magnet strips and this is the previous one that I bought. And it's also from Walmart, $1.97, something like that. So this one is two sheets. Now, I've tried this before, and the magnet power of this one is okay. There are certain times that when you use this for your single shadows, you have to kind of like turn it in a certain way for them to stick in the actual empty palette. I don't know if I make any sense. But this one, it looks way thicker. Let me show you guys. But it really does look way thicker. And then it's a little heavier. It has weight in it. And I feel like this one has like more um, magnet power into it. But we shall see. So I already have like palettes in mind that I kind of like want to use. I have them right here. But um, I'll do that in a separate video if you wanted to join me. So... That's pretty much it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this very simple video. Um, have a nice day. Have a nice week. And if everything is not doing well in your life, just pray. And I promise to you that everything will get better. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. It still smells. I feel like I'm high right now. <laughs> I'll see you next time.